go as slow as shadow on the mic I play to win, never to lose In the contest of champions I'm the one that shoes Swipe straight down, my moves are slick Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick Class champ, I'm the master of the game Cosmic science, skill tech mutant I claim Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol The fight, I'm swift, my tactics excite Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world of Marvel, I'm the King Crown. So listen up, here's the story of the champ, Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the Grime Track fan. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're back again with the Spring of Sorrow, week number two, and this time we're going to be using Void. And I'm going to tell you, at this time, I've used Hercules, I've used Photon. Hercules took about seven minutes, Photon took I think about 11 or 12 minutes. So far, Void took the longest. Uh, I believe the fight took about 24 minutes, something like that. And you'll see me restarting a lot. I mentioned AI profiles in my previous uh, video. And you'll see that if I see onslaught acting funny doing some crazy things i'll just quit and restart and i really don't like long fights all right now i will restart and i'm trying to get a good um a good run okay a good run for me would be about 20 percent of his health off and that would also mean that I'm kind of getting comfortable with using this champion against him. Now, one of the things about Void, I do not have my six-star Void ranked up. He is Awakened, but he's only rank one. I pulled the seven-star Void, so I'm like, well, I'm not going to rank up the six-star when I have the seven-star. But this seven-star while he can do it, is not awakened. And that does make a difference, especially in this fight. You see, like right here, I just quit out and restarted. Okay? Wasn't going to just prolong that. Now, let me explain a little bit about his awakened ability, that fear of the void. All right? The fear of the void would have made this fight, I think, go a bit faster. The more buffs you have, or debuffs you have on your opponent, the more damage you do. Now, I like Void for the ability to do damage even when I'm not able to get an opening, okay? And with this particular fight, that's often, all right? So as you can see here, look at the uh, debuff. He has one debuff on him, and he's taking... Um, what is it about 600 now he has two and he's taking like 600 and something uh 685 uh damage each time okay and i'm just getting eaten up by those neuros because i'm not able to uh dex all of a sudden don't ask me why i suddenly can't dex uh sometimes uh i slip in some glue and i will try to do the evade that I've been doing for a while now and the glue on my shoes will just keep me in place all right so I'm just like all right whatever let's uh you know roll it back again but in any case with void you want to fire off a lot of specials well I run the recoil mastery so that means that every time I throw a special I'm going to be taking damage. So I accept that. I'm not going to turn mine off. That means that I'm going to end up using a, a bit more resources. It means that I'm going to have to uh, heal up between revive attempts. Okay. So I want to try to get a, a, a good initial run going. And you see, look at this. This is ridiculous. See, that's why I just like, oh, no, never mind. Quit. Let's just start it over, all right? Because I already know 
that I need to fire off specials. So I'm going to be losing health that way. So I don't want to lose health by getting five pieced to the face because I'm trying to um, intercept and the AI decided they don't want to attack. They just want to stand there and hit me. Okay. So that's pretty much what you're going to see me doing in this fight. If you saw the first two, this fight is basically me trying to last long and try to, you know, get as much damage on as possible. Now, I mentioned if I had Fear of the Void active. See, look at this. Just, just suddenly I can't move. Not, not trying to hear that. Not trying to deal with that. So in the fight, you'll notice when I get two of each type of debuff that Void can put on, they then go away. Now, if I were awakened, those would turn into a Fear of the Void. And then I would put on some more debuffs. So basically, it would be more damage that I'm able to do. All right? That's what it would mean. But as you will see, an unawakened void can do it. It'll just take a little bit longer. And because I am running the recall masteries, I do hit a little bit harder. But a lot of the damage that I do in this fight comes from voids... Um, the damage he does while he has debuffs on them. Okay, so you see I got three debuffs on right now. Okay, I'm just needing to bait this out. All right, there we go. All right. And then I get clipped on the end. Whatever. Okay, so here we go. Now I have two. Two petrifies, two, I think, I forget, slow, and I forget what the other one is. But I want y'all to watch if I survive long enough. Okay. And I have that. There we go. I finally um, got him. And then he did that. And I'm like, seriously? I finally intercepted him. Now look, did you see where my debuffs went? Go back if you missed it. I had six debuffs and then they just disappeared. If I were awakened, I would have gotten a fear of the void at that moment. And then I would have been able to put on another six. Okay. So it would have just been more damage. But because of that, I now have to restart. You know, but he hit me before I could really uh, do much of anything. But that's pretty much what you want to do with Void in this fight. Okay. You want to get your debuffs on him and just survive. Bait out the specials, take it slow, just keep firing off those uh, special attacks because you're going to be doing damage, as you see. You're going to be doing damage. And the longer the fight will go... Now, right there, in my last video, I mentioned something about not finishing your combos. That is why. I had the crush and I went to get some space back and he fired his special right when I was dashing back, and I got hit. So, if you can, don't finish your combo when he has a special. Because he's waiting for you to do that. That's what you have to think. Okay, so here we go. And one of the few times I fired the special uh, two off, which puts on another debuff, and I don't know if that is useful or not but if you'll notice he's taking like a thousand three hundred and what is that 69 39 goes by so quickly and then he just starts hitting me it's fun it's almost like when he gets a crush and i try to get away from him it's like i got glue on my shoes i was like oh yes crush i need to get away he's like where are you going i go dash and he's just piecing me up, okay? So that's pretty much, look, we, we've already been at it right now almost 10 minutes. Just restarting, trying to get a good run in, okay? Eventually, we do get a good run, all right? 
But I did want to put this up. I did want you guys to see everything. I don't hide anything. I hit that record button, and then you guys get to see everything that I did in these fights. All right? But my throat's getting dry, and this fight is pretty much, well, it's boring. And as I told you, I hate long fights. So eventually what you're going to see, because I'm not going to stay here and uh, narrate the whole thing. See, I'm still restarting. What you're going to see eventually, starting from the first time I revived, is me trying to get a good run. Then when I finally get a good run, I'm like, okay, now I'll revive. And you'll see me just doing that. Sometimes he'll piece me up. And I've already used the revive. I just keep going, because at that point, I just need it. Uh, need to get it done. You know, I figure that it won't take more than like ten revives if I can get at least ten percent down each run, right? And if I can do better than that, then the less revives I have to use. All right. So anyway. I'm going to get out of your way. I'm going to let you guys finish watching this fight. Um, I hear that the fight using... Okay, you see, I, I tried to quit out of it again. Um, I hear that the fight using Deathless King Groot is even more of a slog. So I'm not looking forward to that. I'm not going to try doing that tonight or this morning. I'm going to wait probably Monday night to uh, get that done. And I also haven't uh, done the uh, uh, battlegrounds uh, to finish my uh, points, get the last milestone. So I'm going to do that as well, uh, probably another time. And I'm going to go and play another game and actually have some fun. All right. So take care and you all have a blessed day.
Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he swift. His tactics be tight, those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned in the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown.